<laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Professor Crypto Banana. Whoop whoop. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a music crypto project called Opolis. No, not Audius. Opolis. Now, typically I talk about DeFi, gaming crypto projects. Why am I talking about music? Well, number one, I love music. That's that's a no-brainer. Number two, I believe what Gary V talks about how crypto is going to disrupt the music industry. How? Well, normally what they say is that musicians, if they want to produce a song, it takes money. So they go to the bank. The bank says, yo, you're a musician. I don't know if it's going to really make it. No deal. Okay. So then they go to the music labels, like record recording labels, whatever, and they try to get a loan and the terms and the conditions are horrendous. Horrendous. It benefits the label companies, not the artists. Flip it around. NFTs come along, right? So now musicians can go straight to the listeners and say, hey, you want to invest in this song? Great. You can get in, you can own it, and you can, if the song becomes really popular, generates a lot of revenue, guess what? You also get rewarded. Now, do you think people that invest in it are going to just sit quiet and be like, you know, I, I invest in this song, you know, hey, I'm going to keep this under wraps? Heck no! They're going to tell their friends, they're going to tell their mom, they're going to tell about their grandma, about little little banana that just came out with this amazing song, da da da. So then that hype and that adoption is going to speed up even more. And they're also, because they like the song, you know, they invested in it, now they're proclaiming it to everybody, psychological, all that good stuff. So this is where Opolis plays a key part. I'm a little bit frustrated that other people aren't talking about this, but at the same time, I think it's extremely early or I'm completely wrong. I'm curious about your guys' thoughts. But before we get started, you know what time it is. I have to hit you with that disclaimer. Yeah, I know, I know. Keep in mind, everything in this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, this is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. I'm not a crypto expert, so everything that I say, hey, it could be wrong, or I could be missing out on a lot of facts. So please, please, please always do your own research and keep in mind that crypto is risky. <sighs> Still here? Ha <laughs> ha! Cool. All right, let's get let's get going. So in today's uh, taking a look at the market, Bitcoin dropped like a bee. Did it take other other coins with it? Well, I'm gonna close my eyes and let's scroll. Uh, yeah, it did. Look at that. I don't even have to look. It's red, 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 red. So I look at Opolis, and this thing's pumping 22 percent. This was even before like a tweet by Elio Trades, which I'll get into that a little bit later. But Dude, look at that, like, dang. So they came out with some major updates coming out on their Twitter page. Uh, again, number 423. However, so I can't tell you if it's a good time to get in or not, you know, because it's not financial advice. Traditional wisdom says if there's a major pump, it's kind of like, you know, a lot it goes like up and down. So you want to get in when there's a drop. So I don't know if it's a good time or a bad time. That's up to you. You do you, boo. However, I'm just, in general, I really like the project. I'll get into details why. One thing to keep a note is on what blockchains is this on. So you see right here, got that little symbol here on CoinGecko. It's Ethereum. Now if you're like me, a little smaller, I'm, I'm going to be a whale someday. I'm, you know what? I will become a whale. But at this point in time, I can't afford those gas fees because I cry, especially on the Ethereum side, right? So CoinGecko, here's a little pro tip. You can hit this triple ellipsis and see what other blockchains support this coin as well. Whoa! So for example, Algorand could be a great blockchain. I have no interaction with it. So if you all want to like hit me with that saying like, oh my gosh, can't believe you, Professor, you don't know anything about it. Yeah, that's right. I don't have a wallet on there. Don't know about it. However, Binance Smart Chain, very, very low gas fees. So that is something to take note of. Take a look at that contract uh, if you want. If you're curious how to get onto the Binance Smart Chain, I'm sure there's a lot of other YouTube videos that explain it. We good? Yes. So let's take a look at where it could potentially go. Well, Audius is currently 114 on Coin Gecko, and let's see what the market cap is. Eh? It's at about one billiones. Yeah. So then here it's at 128 million. So let's just assume Audius doesn't move. Is it kind of close to get up to a 10x, even a 5x from here? I think that's reasonable, okay? I'm not a moon boy. I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh. Could go? I'm just trying to think realistically, what is a realistic price target? I don't even like giving out price predictions, but 
I see that this has a lot of room to grow. Again, keep in mind the pump, all that good stuff. All right, I'm not repeating. Am I repeating myself? Yes, I am. So let's move forward. Okay, Opalus, this is their Twitter page. What they got going on? So take a look. They are coming out with some, or they already have, I believe, come out with something called SNFTs. You're like, what was an SNFT? Quickly looking, haven't done the full research, it's like a security NFT, meaning uh, the SEC already approved it, said, yeah, that's fine, you're good to go. So in case some people in the U.S. are, are worried about regulation, maybe that's kind of like that green light gives a little bit more clarity and feel good feeling about it. And they already released one for Mona Lisa by Little Pump. So my suspicion is that Little Pump hasn't really recorded it yet, but he is willing to um, push that out to the community, can invest in it, and any revenue generated goes to these investors. It could also have the benefit of being like that first, you know, big mover on Opolis, and if Opolis becomes big, you know how like CryptoPunks is to NFTs and art? Maybe this could be the same thing. Maybe it's not even the song, maybe it's just the idea that it's the first. I'm just speculating right here, I don't know. But if you take a look through their Twitter page, they got some funding with Jump. I have no idea about what this is, but some people seem really hype and say, yeah, the fact that Jump is backing this is pretty big because they've done things, they've helped out uh, Solana, Luna, and Chili's, etc., leading crypto market maker and venture capitalists, raise money, etc. So apparently that's a big thing. Uh, in addition, they also got Calvin Harris management team and other big names to join as advisors, so that's always a good thing to see. We'll be going over their website and other stuff. So apparently this is announcement week, and they may have one more for tomorrow? I don't know. We'll, we, we will see. So either ways, 37,000 followers. Let's keep going. So this is their website. And what will happen is, you know what, hold on, yeah, 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 before we get started. So I talked about Little Pump, right? So this is a different website, republic.co, and for Little Pump, you can get in on it, gives a little bit of metrics. Now, I personally don't know necessarily about Little Pump or any artist that comes out. I love music. So far, I personally wouldn't necessarily invest because I don't know if these artists will generate that much revenue. However, it's like the gold rush. Do I really need to know every single specific artist and think it's going to be big? Or do I just believe in the platform and that other people will bet and it'll be profitable? It's one thing to consider. Like the gold rush. Why go out, search for the gold when you can be the one selling the shovel? Cashmere, EDM. I love EDM. Uh, he's probably good. However, it's not an artist that I'm aware of. If I see one, maybe I'll join it. Uh, one thing to consider is potentially, I think you have to do KYC in order to get in on that, meaning got to give that social security number and everything if you're in the US. I believe that's the case. But if there's a particular artist or they're able to get a lot of mainstream artists in here, because I guess this is why they're showing it on the website right here, got 7.8 million, so this ain't no random person on SoundCloud with only 100 listeners. You know, These are some, some artists that actually have the potential to generate revenue. So this is very, very interesting. It's kind of like a, a trial, and it seems to, you know, they, they were able to get some artists and probably get more very exciting. I'm very pumped. Again, I like music, so if I see an artist that I like, I'm going to jump in. However, in the meantime, I'm just getting into the Opal token. Again, not financial advice, and this is how I see it going. You can even do more research about SNFTs. Uh, let's see what it says here. Maybe this will give a better explanation. Own a piece of your favorite songs, uh, first of the kind that combines power of blockchain and investing framework, bringing artists and fans closer than ever. So as Gary Vee describes, cut out the middleman. You got your favorite musician, you want to support them. A lot of people will buy their their t-shirts, whatever. Well, why not actually own their songs, right? Instead of just like listening to it, you can be an investor. Pretty cool. So then you cut out that record label and it's like you and the artist. And then you, we'll discuss about this even more is the fact that you can then like even sell the NFT the music NFT you can borrow against it. It's like, whoa, okay. Uh, so I'll leave all the links in the description. I'm not going to go over this because I'm already at nine minutes. Maybe some of us are, are a little bit impatient and want to get a little bit faster. So let's let's go ahead and get through this. So this is the website. 
I'll put this. And oh, disclaimer. I am, I already got a bag <laughs> before the pump. Uh, I'm not a whale, so I w my strategy is once it doubles, maybe I'll sell half, and then whatever it is, I'll just ride it for the rest of the bull run. Are you going to see it on the charts? No, but, <laughs> you know, because I'm not a whale yet, but that's just a disclaimer. So, you know, in case if there's any ethics involved, there you go. So I love it. I'm biased, but uh, just so you know. But let's move forward. So the NFT launch pad. So apparently it's going to be like a, you can get into let's say a little pump and then there's gonna be a launch pad and then you can trade you can even borrow against it so this is where like there's an nft exchange DeFi loans so when people say like okay this crypto project seems amazing but what utility are you going to bring during the bear market well do you think people are going to really listen to music when there's a crypto bull market i'm not even going to answer that question because you should know <laughs> right? Everybody's going to be listening to music. It's going to be generating revenue. And I think that's really great in terms of crypto during a bull market. And a bull market. A right, bear, bull, you know, it's going to, I think it's going to do great. So that's how I see it. Again, this is just some more information. Let's check it out. So the idea is like, let's say a music artist puts out a song on YouTube, probably generates some revenue. If they go on Spotify, Spotify pays a little bit of money, gets on the radio, maybe if it's for concerts, etc., etc., etc. So that generates a little bit of revenue, and people who are invested in the song, they get a small cut. Really cool, right? Because we talk about staking rewards on crypto projects. Well, this is kind of like royalties. So one example that I can come up with was, was with Jeopardy, the guy that created do do do. Yeah, well, guess what? They the Jeopardy game show said like we will pay you a ton of money, or we can give you royalties, meaning like ten percent of the revenue that the whole song. I don't know the exact numbers. Don't quote me on it. The dude took the royalties, and let's just say he was extremely wealthy to the point that you know Jeopardy is still on. It's still getting revenue, and now his family members, I believe, are getting a, a portion of that cut. So it's like whole shoot all right so yeah royalties and a nft exchange you get some DeFi loans on it so you can even borrow against it and some more is coming out they got some doxed uh, people on the team with the linkedin profiles haven't looked too much into it but it's always a good thing to see when people are willing to show their face their name their reputation not a guarantee again you know stuff could happen knock on wood could be smart contractors all that good stuff I don't know, but just seeing that is very beneficial. Love it. All right, let's 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 look at this. So here is also the PDF that talks about the tokenomics and what they plan on doing. They take a look at OpenSea Rarible and in comparison to Opolis, what that provides. Looks at also against uh, borrowing against it. Well, you can do certain borrowing with BlockFi and Compound, but Opolis is going to be willing to do even more. And talks about copyright, all that good stuff, roadmap. Uh, where they're going, what what are we in? Uh, we're in quarter four of 2021, so they're looking to do a DeFi component launch and eventually do music NFT launch. Pretty cool. Talks about how the revenue is going to come in and how that benefits. So I don't know, my suspicion is that you get like transaction fees when people are buying and selling the songs and l taking loans against the DeFi. Uh, or taking loans against the song, etc., etc., and the royalties. Well, there's something backing it, so that's pretty cool. And scrolly, scrolly, scroll. Yeah, again, more people, more uh, collaborations. Talks about the economics of it, how it goes down. Take a look. I don't know. And this is just for more information. Token distribution. So I don't know too much about token distribution. Y'all can let me know in the comment section. I post up a tweet. So yeah, I got me I got me a Twitter. Yeah, I got I got me a Twitter. And I quickly posted up like, yo, I'm gonna be talking about this project real quick. So it went up from four dollars sixty four cents, you know, time die tweet was already like at six oh six. And mention about Gary V. He has this uh YouTube video where he talks about it with Faruko. I'm big into the land scene. What? Yes, I love me some reggaeton. Faruco, that was that Pape's. Oh man, if you know, you know. Anyways, I think this dude's gonna be big. And Gary Vee is talking to all these artists, saying like, "Yo, you gotta get into these NFT spaces. This is where it's at." So the fact that Gary Vee isn't talking about it makes me a little frustrated, but I feel like there's a great opportunity that he'll catch on. So I made the tweet saying like, "Yo, this is gonna be the uh, thing I'm gonna be talking about," and. 
Guess what? I just happened to look at the amount of followers, and I saw that Alex Becker and Ilio Trades are followers of this. And they're more on the gaming crypto, so I'm like, why are they? But they also do NFTs. I'm like, why are they following Opolis? All right. This is something to note. I kid you not. Just right after, you know, I, I took a look and like, no way. <laughs> Right, uh, Elio came out with a new video. He didn't talk about Opalus, but in his tweet, he did mention about the Opal token. So consider this a little bit of alpha, like not too, not too late, not too early, just right. Yeah, Goldilocks and the three bears. There you go. So, what else can I say about this? There's something else I was gonna say. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So, one could say, why is that a big deal that Alex Becker and Elio Trades are following it? like what do they have a thousand subscribers well let's take a look well they have millions of followers what the heck that's not even the right one don't don't do me dirty like that what hold on zss becker see notice how these twitter handlers these scammers how they do it so this yes alex becker on his YouTube channel, he's got over a million subscribers. On his Twitter, he's got roughly half a million. And we could take a look and say, how many is he following? How many is he following? Because this is what a lot of people do. They'll see a major influencer, some major person, and they'll look at who they're following to maybe get that little inside scoop. I've never heard Alex Becker talk about Opalus. I think he might in his upcoming videos. This is just speculation. Could be wrong, been wrong tons of times before but uh, yeah I'm in incognito mode so that's why it's a little bit more difficult for me but 284 followers and Opalus just happens to be one that he's following hmm let's take a look at Elio Trades yeah uh, Missy Elliott supersonic hypnotic funky fresh okay 836 Ilio Trades is a little bit more giving when it comes to following but you get the point so let's let's put that camera back on me Whoosh. all right Opalus let's do a quick summary concludey time if you will a lot of people look at crypto and they say hmm I'm not sure very volatile I don't see the benefits kind of like a very big Ponzi scheme I don't know maybe however one thing is for sure for me people love music a lot of money can be made from music if you hit it big. Am I the person that can necessarily identify an artist that's going to be huge? No. But the fact that people can now invest into some of the artists, and there's this opportunity to do this with Opalus, I haven't seen other projects, makes me very bullish. I'm taking a look. Lower market cap. Uh, start, it's starting to get a little bit of attention here. I think this could be could be an interesting play. But what do I know? My whole icon is a duck with a top hat. So take that as you will. And I will see you guys in the next video. Pieces.